In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your LEGO Star Wars Fofo First Battle Pack to be more accurate in size and with a stap. These are the pieces that you'll need for the feet. First, what you do is you take these pieces and build it so it's like this. Then, you take these the triangular type pieces, put them on like that. You take these, and then you put them on right about here. So then you have this. Next, you take this piece and put it right about here. Then you need to take this piece, put it here, there, there and take this and connect it to the bottom so then you have a little foot and then repeat this if you do it right you should end up with two feet that look like this these are the parts that you'll need for step two pause the video if you need to to build the legs take this piece and it, or you can set it there for now what you need to do is take this build it to the side and add the little stud on the side like that. And you repeat that, but do it the opposite. So that way you have it facing the opposite way. So you should have two, these two little pieces like that. Take this piece and this piece, and you just want to connect them like that. Then you take this side and this piece, and connect it like that, and then you have the legs done. After that, you need to connect your feet to your legs. Now for the body. What you're going to do is take these two pieces, and then put the little circle piece in the middle. Then take this and put it over top. After that, you need to take these, these pieces, put one here, and put the other one here. Then take these pieces and put them right over top. Once you do that, take your little studs, stud like pieces, put them here, take the air vent type pieces and then just put them over top. Then these you're going to want to put there and here. After that, Take this piece, put it here, put it, and then put these here. Then put this here, and you're done with the body. For the first part of making the little seat thing, you need to combine these pieces. So that way you have something like this. Then you want to put it right here on the thing. Then put the little 2 by one right there. Put this right here. Then the little um, thingy right there, this here, then flip it over, and then place the little, um, black 2 by one right there. Then you want to place this right here so it looks like that. So far, this is what you should have, two legs and a little body part. What you want to do is connect these, because it'll make it easier for later in the, um, later when you're making it. You want to connect the legs so that way this little stud right here faces outwards. And then connect the other leg. So then you have something that's like this. Once you've connected those, you should end up with something like this. Take these, and then see how there's this little like, dark gray area? You want to place this piece right here so that way it connects. Just like that. What you want to do for this next step, which is kind of like the little part of the seat area, is combine these two pieces, put them right here. And then, you want to take these little um, one by things, and then that face outwards, and then take the little control panel and place it on the inside. What you want to do now is take this little piece that you made, and then connect it right here to your main build. And that should look like that. 
after you do that, what you want to do is take this little piece and then just put it right there. For the little antennae part in the back, what you want to do is take these pieces and put them like that. Then take this, put it right there, and put these little pieces on the back. So we have like little, the two little thingies on the back. And make sure they're all the way to the sides. Connect the rods in, and then the little thingy over top of the rods so they don't fall out and they stay together. Then connect it onto this, right onto the very back. And these are the pieces that you'll need for the next step. Pause the video if you need to. To start off, take this piece and this piece, then connect them together. So then you have this. Put this piece on the front, so you have something that looks like this. Connect these two pieces to the sides. Then, what you need to do is connect these so it looks like that. And then, put this right here, so you have a little like spike that comes up. Then these little flag pieces, just pop them on and then push them to the sides. One last thing, add, add one of these little pieces onto the bottom, and then bring over your ATRT, and pop it right there on the front. These are the pieces that you'll need for the next step. Pause the video if you need to. What you do is you take these two pieces and snap them together, just like that. Then you need to take this piece and then these little pieces and put them together like that. Then add this onto the front like that. Put these pieces onto the sides. And then you bring over your ATRT. And then what you do is you push it together. And then you have this little thing on the front. For the last part of the build, you need these pieces. To start off, push this in just slightly. Then take this piece and put it right here. Feel free to push push this pole in the rest of the way. Then you add this little piece right here and add that on. Bring over your ATRT, flip it upside down, and then add the little blaster onto this bottom stud piece right in there and try and get it pushed in so that way it doesn't fall off. And then you're done. You have your new and improved ATRT. Thanks for watching. I'll leave the original creator of these instructions in the description. I altered a couple of the steps to make it more of how I like it. Hope you guys enjoyed.